This is Salaro's first study of .NET Duke usability within this enormously successful iPhone and iPod Touch mobile device area. It is predicted that by end of this year there will be at least 100 million iPhone and iPod Touch mobile devices around the world. Therefore it is really good time for all of us to produce great applications that not only look great on a normal browser but also look good in this mobile area. In this session I will try and show you our existing e-commerce shop and also the areas of improvements which we need to roll out uh, within the next four weeks when the uh, Saloro.com mobile goes live. Thank you. Before I show you the end user experience with uh, iPhone and iPod Touch when they are uh, at Saloro.com, uh, I thought I'd just uh, show you quickly how our um, store looks and, in, and um, uh, interacts with end user um, currently. Uh, let's go to the store. Um, let's look at a um, couple of products. Um, okay. Um, this one is a bit slow to open. Let's click on this one. All right. Um, yep, it's it's all there. Um, add to cart, and um, e junkie is pretty good. Um, shows the number of products which I've um, checked in, and uh, just goes to PayPal and pay for it. Uh, however. Um, eJunkies does have some JavaScripts which conflicts with uh, the way um, um, Safari works in iPhone. So as a result we had to change our store and create a whole brand new store with new uh, portfolio module um, which is nicely enhanced um, and also use Shop Integrator as against eJunkies as a gateway. Uh, let's go ahead and choose something to look at. It's got a nice Ajax, so opens up a bigger picture. Click here to, for, to see further details or purchase. Um, pretty similar to how the other one behaved, but um, this is the bit which we are interested in. Uh, quantity choose quantity in our case you know you're only interested in buying one uh, add to cart a uh, little JavaScript fast that says it's added uh, uh, let's go ahead and view cart and there we are um, let's go to check out uh, just to show what the next stage is we are working as I said with uh, shop integrator to reduce the real estate here because uh, I think currently it's something like 800 pixel wide screen and I think it would be a lot better at around 600 so everything is um, visible uh, in a smaller screen on an iPhone or iPod touch let's say uh, okay let's go to PayPal um, later on you'll see in the iPhone um, PayPal also doesn't really um, uh, hasn't really optimized uh, their screen um, for I iPhone or iPod Touch but I'm sure they will because there's plenty of um, uh, conservation of widths they can do here um, to bring it all uh, in a 600 wide uh, screen um, so it looks pretty good uh, on an iPod Touch or iPhone. Uh, this is as much as I wanted to show you and uh, the next uh, part uh, will show you uh, the actual uh, iPhone iPod touch behavior thank you here is the iPhone um, version of Solaro.com I quickly go ahead and um, type in um, you can see there is basically quite a lot of restriction because of the size last year we did quite a lot of um, work to get the uh, menu to work properly uh, with uh, Sorrow.com and you, you see that um, if we've used Telerik menu here uh, so it does show up um, flyouts with Telerik menu 
so uh, here's the new store button there we go um, pretty much same behavior as you saw in Chrome um, using a normal um, browser uh, but um, because things are a lot smaller here um, we need to make sure that you know uh, our page is correct so this is how it's how we're going to release the first um, version of the store um, so one does have to use the um, zooming facility that um, iPod touch or iPhone has however in, in, in later uh, this month uh, we will export this uh, uh, content of this module to uh, one which we will skin specifically for uh, iPod touch and iPhone uh, let me just quickly go through a typical um, purchase uh, using um, uh, iPhone um, so this is the uh, product which I like uh, I can see a larger picture of the product and then um, some more details about it and then let's go ahead and click details and buy there we are In the, in the dedicated iPhone version of the site, um, there won't, hopefully there won't be any of this um, zooming in, zooming out. Uh, here is the um, uh, shop integrator token. So let's add it to the cart. Okay. Does that. Let's have a look at it um, in the cart. There we go. So takes us to Shop Integrator, and this is the bit which uh, we've we've asked Shop Integrator to uh, basically reduce the um, width of their um, page, uh, so it looks better on the iPhone. Um, let's go ahead and um, go to checkout, see what that looks like. Um, Let's go ahead and say OK here. Let's go to PayPal. When when it does reach pay, PayPal eventually, um, obviously their site is not running that well with iPhone because it's probably not well optimized yet, but I'm sure uh, they will do so. Um, so you give the choice choice of paying uh, using credit card. Um, so you obviously need to fill out this form. Uh, chances are most um, iPod owners already got a PayPal account, so they quickly type in email address and password and go ahead and pay for the product. So this is as much as I wanted to show you. Uh, for this month, uh, hopefully next month, um, I'll be able to show you the um, full iPod Touch iPhone version of Solaro.com. Um, that should hopefully make life a lot easier for um, the end user. Many thanks.